We're starting with MINE Plus. We're going to be writing a program. This program will measure the temperature inside a room and then turn on LEDs according to where that range of temperature is. So let's have a look at how we start. How we start is with MINE Plus is to look at the blocks. And effectively, we're going to be starting with the forever block which is equivalent to the void loop here. But before we can do that, we need to determine what Uno board, uh, what Arduino board we're using, and we're using the Arduino Uno. So if we go to this list, we can find Arduino U on here, we click that. We can now go back to our screen and we see that automatically we've got a Uno starts and forever loop here for us. Now we're going to be using the LM35 temperature sensor which is a specific sensor that we can add to the Arduino. We're also going to be at, uh, using two LEDs, one red and one green. The red will turn on if the temperature is over room temperature which is 20 degrees and the green one will turn on if it's 20 degrees or less. So let's have a look at how we start doing that. Well, the first thing we need to do is think about what we're going to be doing as far as collecting the data. Now the data we want to collect is the temperature. So one of the first things we need to do is set up a variable. We want to make a numeric variable. We want to call that temperature. and click OK. So what we want to do is to be able to set the temperature from that sensor and put it into a container of some sort or a variable. So let's just drag this set over and put it into the mix. You notice that it clicks in here. We're going to be looking for the temperature variable. And what is that going to equal? Well, that's going to equal the temperature from our LM35 temperature sensor. But there's nothing about an LM35 temperature sensor here because we need to put it on the extensions. So we click extensions. We then need to go to sensor because that's what we're using. If we look through the list of sensors, we can actually find the LM35 temperature sensor is here. So we click that you'll now see that it says loaded. If we go back to our editing screen, you'll now see that there's a new section here called sensor, which wasn't here before. If we click on that, we can see read pin AO LM35 temperature. In other words, we're reading pin analog zero, where that LM35 temperature sensor is situated on the Arduino board. So what are we going to do now? We're going to drag that and you'll notice the little yellow line around that um, field there. That means it's ready to drop in. No, nearly did it. That's better. We'll just move this screen along a little bit. You can see here that now the temperature from the LM35 the reading will now go into our temperature variable. If you have a look over on the right here where it's generating the C++ program, you can actually see here, include dfrobotlibraries.h. What we've done is by selecting that sensor, we've actually uploaded and included a library which contains all the actual programs inside that for the LM35 temperature, and here it is here lm35.getTemperature, which is a function inside the lm35 library, which is inside this library here. The next thing we want to do is to indicate by the LEDs where our temperature range is. So we need a control. And we need an if then else, so we drag that out and we put that underneath this one here. Now we've got a red LED collected at D 
digital pin 13 and we have a green LED at digital pin 12. So how do we get this? Well first of all we need a condition. So if we have a look at operators, we're looking for a greater than, here we go, greater than. So what are we looking here? Well we're trying to find if temperature is greater than a particular value. So we go to our variables and we drag temperature into the first of those spaces. Then what we do is we get, we type in the number that we're looking for, well 20 degrees. So if it's greater than 20 degrees we want to be able to flag that as a problem and we actually want to send some information so that it turns on the um, it's on the LED. How do we do that? Well, we find our digital pin output, we drag that across. Now the red, oh, I beg your pardon, that was the wrong one. The red LED is on pin 13, so we just scroll down the list and click 13. So that will turn the red pin on if the temperature is greater than 20. However, if it's not greater than 20, we want the pin on 13 to get a low one. In other words, we've turned the LED off. If it's less than or equal to 20, we want to be able to turn the green one on. How do we do that? We drop in the if then else, we go to operators and we look for the less than or equal to, there it is there. And we're looking at, uh, where are we? We're looking at comparing the temperature is less than or equal to 20. And then what we want to do, well, in fact, what we want to do here whoop, is to send a high signal to digital pin 12. So that will turn on the green LED and then we can make sure that if it's not less than or equal to 20, we turn the digital pin 12 to off. That has then allowed us our program that will measure the temperature and turn on red or green LED depending on the temperature range. However, there's a bit of an issue here in a couple of places. The first one is the 20. If we were using that all the time, we would have to continually place 20 in the program. And then if for some reason we wanted to change that temperature, we would have to go to every single line and change the temperature, which would be a pain in the neck. There is another way of doing that, and in fact, the way to do that is to set up a constant. However, there is no way to set up a constant in Mind Plus, and this is one of the um, limitations of the program and why it doesn't give us a well-written program. How can we do that? Well, we can actually copy the script that we've got from, so control C, that we've been generated from our mind plus and we can control V, copy it and paste it into this window here. So here's the same script except we can manually edit it now. To set up a constant, well we're just going to go below the uh, definition of the LM35 as 35. I'll explain that a bit later. We're going to put constant. Now as I type this in you can see that it's got the reserve word here, constant. A space, we want it to be of integer type and again that reserve word comes up. We're going to call it um, room temp. And that is going to be the signed the value 20 and then don't forget the semicolon at the end. Now that means that what we do here is we replace all these 20s with room temp. And there's another one here. 20. Now you can also see it's on the list that 
is in this uh, all all these reserve words why because we've actually defined it up here so it knows it's coming so we can put that in there and that is our program that will turn the red or the green light on depending on where the temperature is range is whether it's above 20 or whether it's less than or equal to 20 degrees and that's also how we can modify our programs to be better written than what can be generated through using 9 plus but this is often a good start